Welcome to Nexania's overview of our integration with NetSuite and the accounting system behind it. What you'll see here is our welcome page. It shows you a sample, sample company's logo. This logo can be customized to any customer's logo. There's corporate colors, the purple, the orange. These can all be customized uniquely to a particular customer. And what I'm going to be showing you today is the integration between our expense management system and NetSuite. The first thing to know is it's 100% integrated, 100% automated. You can fill out expense reports in Nexania, you can add receipts, you can add line items, you can route them for five, six levels of approvals. We support both corporate credit cards and personal credit cards and the integration of all of that through to NetSuite. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the expenses tab. And what you're gonna see here is a bunch of expense reports. There's one called NetSuite Demo. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one. I'm gonna call this one um, NetSuite Demo 2. And as soon as I do that, you're gonna actually see a blank expense report. Now from this point, we can actually add line items, we can add receipts, we can link the two of them together so that you know which line item is related to which page of receipts. The other thing you'll notice is add expense item is here. This is how you add out of pocket expenses. And you can also see add from credit card because credit cards have been uh, integrated as well. So let's go to receipt pages and let's go ahead and just add some receipts from my hard drive. So this is five pages of receipts, and while that's uploading, by the way, we do support fax integration as well, so you can fax in your receipts. The other thing that we have, of course, is smartphone client. So what I'll be showing you is the iPhone client. As soon as I launch the application, which is the blue icon, you'll see it's gonna say, welcome to Nexonia, and it's looking for an existing customer. So let's click existing customer. I'm going to put in my email address, and I'm gonna put in my password, click save, and you're gonna see something pretty interesting happen. It's gonna synchronize with our servers and you're actually gonna see NetSuite Demo 2. It actually has uh, no line items right now, but this is the one that was created on the server. Here's NetSuite Demo that has no line items because I can see it has a great paper clip, which means it has some receipts already in the system. So you can actually create expense reports and just add receipts without even adding you know, the line item details to the expense report, and then you can come back at a later date and add those. Now, since you can see in the background that the receipts have been uploaded and thumbnails created, I can click in to refresh and synchronize my phone and you'll actually see the gray paper clips now appeared. If I go ahead and look at that, I'll actually see my expense report summary, which says there's five pages of receipts. And if we look behind, we'll see sure enough, there's five pages of receipts. If we go to the receipts tab, you'll see that there's server receipts. So I can click on one of them say to bring down all the server receipts and you'll actually see in just a few seconds that all of the um, receipts that were actually uploaded on the server have now been brought down to the phone. So let's go ahead and continue with the website of things. Let's go ahead and add an expense item. Um, here's the first page. Let's zoom in a little bit. We'll see it's a meal for $62.50 and I'll choose meals and I'll put $62.50. And for the NetSuite uh, integration, we wanted to tell you that the customer list, the project list, the list of expense categories, even the employees that you want to have access to expenses are all synchronized from NetSuite automatically. We do support departments, we support classes, we support locations that can be turned on or off. We also have custom field capability synchronization with NetSuite. So if you've customized your NetSuite expense form to add extra fields that are important to your business, we'll actually bring those in automatically, allow employees to fill them out in Nexonia, and then send those details back to NetSuite. So now that we've got that one line item created, maybe we're gonna click Save and New. We're gonna to go to page two. And this one's kind of interesting because it has two receipts on one page. So let's do uh, this one, which looks like it's 2607. That's also a meal. Now when I'm typing this, you might notice it says USD. We can choose a little drop down. You can see there's about 11 or 12 currencies configured for this particular company. We support upwards of 161 currencies. You can have any number of them enabled or disabled for a particular organization. If you're not a NetSuite One World customer, we'll translate all those foreign currency expense charges into your native, your home currency. Um, and if you're One World, we'll actually make sure that employees and different subsidiaries are recording expenses back to their native home currency for their subsidiary. 
let's go ahead and click um, save and new and let's look at the other part of this page of receipts here's one for 72.57 so let's just highlight this and say meals and say 72.57 so what we've done here it was we've actually created three line items in the expense report they're all in draft they have little green paper clips which means i've linked the line item to the receipt so as a manager if you're doing approvals it's a lot easier because you can actually click on the paper clip it'll zoom in down below and you can click the plus sign to zoom in as far as you want to make sure that all the values are correct so having said that let's see what's going on with our iphone go back to the main report listing we go ahead and click to sync and you'll see that there's a green paper clip appeared there's 16114 um, there's three line items we can click and see the line items we can see they all have green paper clips even if we click on one of the green paper clips we can click manage receipts so it will actually see the linked receipt that's part of that line item so things look pretty good on the iPhone let's just go ahead and submit it for approval from the iPhone you can actually literally do everything on the iPhone that you can do on the website so let's click submit for approval ask me if I want to sync and submit now and by the way you notice that we sync with our servers what that means is you can actually use your iPhone to actually work on an airplane a subway fill out your expenses and when you land or when you get out to where there's a network connection you can actually synchronize the work that you've done in this case you can see now it says Carmen Matthews is the current approver so let's go ahead and look at that and sure enough it says NetSuite demo 2 Carmen Matthews is the current approver now what we can do is we can log out we can log in as Carmen and when we do that on the approvals sure enough we're going to see that Carmen has right up at the top here NetSuite Demo 2 and if Carmen was to open this Carmen can click on the green paper clips can see the attached receipts everything looks good so she's going to select all say approve ask for confirmation here we're just going to say OK and say you know, great thank you now with Nixonia expenses you can actually have an unlimited number of approver, approval steps so you could route from a person, you can route to a project manager, then you can route to a couple of people in management and executive management, depending on the approval limits. We support approval limits, and if, so it has to go higher if it's not within um, a person's approval limit. And then it could always typically goes to someone in finance who does a final read and assessment of what's going on. The other thing to note is anybody in approvals can edit these line items if you specify that in the approval setup so that uh, people can uh, adjust the line items in approval so they don't have to get rejected to get fixed. They can actually be fixed during the approval process. Once you click OK, that expense report's now approved. And if we log back, log back in and go to expenses, well, sure enough, we'll see that this expense report called NetSuite Demo 2 has been completed and been approved. If we go look at the iPhone, go ahead and sync. Personal notice that now it says approved. So that was pretty clean. So let's go ahead now and let's see what's going on in NetSuite. I'm going to go to transactions. I'm going to look at an employee expense reports list. What you'll see, sure enough, um, oh, we haven't transferred to it. So you'll actually see all the expense reports we've transferred. One of the things you'll notice is that number of the expense report is clearly identifying it as a Nexonia expense report with our report code. It's typically four digits until you get to over 10,000 and then it goes to five digits. But you can actually have an audit trail and an easy tracking mechanism between Nexonia and NetSuite and where the expense reports came from. So now that this expense report's actually been completed, let's go to the NetSuite integration tab. There's three main tabs here. One of them is configuration sync. We mentioned at the start that all of this data that's synchronized from NetSuite, all this setup data is synchronized from NetSuite automatically. And that's the case in this situation. You can see it's been running at four o'clock in the morning every day. And we, the administrators can also initiate synchronizations at any time during the day. It takes about two minutes. So if you add some extra employees, customers, projects, expense categories, if you have departments, classes, or locations, and you turn those on or, or add more options to them, you can just click synchronize now and hands off within a minute or two, it'll be completely um, integrated and transferred into Nexonia. So let's go look at the expense reports tab. This is the one that actually I wanted to show, which is where you can see the log of all the expense reports that have been transferred into NetSuite automatically. Again, this one also runs overnight, but let's go ahead and click transfer now. 
you see a little dialog appears. We'll click OK. And if we wait about uh, 15 to 30 seconds, what we'll see is this log will be updated and it'll actually say that the entries have been exported and how many expense reports have been exported. And of course, it'll give you the success message. Sure enough, here it is, three entries exported, one report. If we go back into NetSuite and we refresh the list, you'll actually see that NetSuite Demo 2 is there. And if we edit that expense report in NetSuite, you'll see a number of things. You'll see it's marked as accounting approved and complete. You can see it put them all against the meals category. It put in the correct amounts. If there'd been any memo that was entered in Nexonia in the memo field, it would be included in the memo field in NetSuite. These are all coded against customers and projects, whether it's billable or not, whether the receipts were attached or not. All of that information is in NetSuite. You can also see that it puts the purpose, which is NetSuite Demo 2. And that's as simple as it is for getting our expenses into NetSuite. It's hands off, it's all automated, there's nothing really to do. Now the other thing we get asked about a lot is corporate credit cards. So how does that happen? Well, the easy answer there is we actually set up um, employees like one called Corporate Visa you can see here. And that is basically the pseudo employee that's set up in NetSuite to receive corporate credit card transactions that have been charged by a particular employee. So you can see here that the corporate visa got $456.98. And you can actually, in the, in the description of the uh, expense report, you can see it came from A. Wolf. And when you open the expenses, you'll, sure, you'll see that it shows one charge, $456.98, to trade show category. And it's shown up as payable to the corporate visa, which is what we want to see. So we support corporate visa, corporate Amex, corporate MasterCard, and all the personal cards are supported as well. So let's go back and have a look at what the NetSuite integration is all about. Well, if we go to the integration setup tab and we click edit, you can actually see it on all, all kinds of information. This all takes, by the way, less than 60 minutes to set up. We've actually set up clients in less than 15 minutes. Uh, typically it takes about an hour because there's a number of settings outside of what NetSuite gives us that we like to set, including approval processes and security roles and things like that. But you can see here, synchronized departments, classes, locations, to override the uh, NetSuite transaction ID with our own codes, which we showed you earlier. Multiple currencies, synchronizing posting periods. We can also integrate NetSuite custom fields by saying yes, it will just all of a sudden, at Nets, Net, the next configuration sync, it'll bring across all kinds of custom fields from NetSuite, including custom lists. We can set the expense AP account ID if it's not the standard accounts payable. You can decide whether you want the supervisor approval and the accounting approval set to yes when we transfer to NetSuite. We do integrate with NetSuite sandboxes through this drop down here. And you'll see as we move through it, you can filter your employee list so not all, the, all your employees go into Nexonia. We can notify the employees of their login credentials. Uh, soon we're going to have single sign-on as well uh, with NetSuite. We can map supervisor fields. We have a lot of different things along those lines. Customers and projects, we have a lot of settings to bring customers and projects over from NetSuite automatically. We do support One World, this is where you'd say synchronized subsidiaries. Expense categories, we bring them all over from NetSuite. We don't actually create our own index on you. We actually take the expense categories that are configured from NetSuite and bring them over. And of course, uh, last but not least, this is how we map corporate credit card data and where we map them back to into NetSuite. Again, all of this takes about 30 minutes to go through with a customer, get set up, and literally once you've filled out that dialog box, you just go to the configuration sync tab, click once, and it will actually synchronize all of that data. And that's the reason our setup happens so quickly. So we hope you've enjoyed this overview of how our NetSuite integration works. It's 100% automated. There's, there's no manual inf intervention required. We're adding features all the time, but we've got a lot of customers that use it and are very happy with it. You can see that our smartphone client, in this case the iPhone, is fully integrated. We also have expense policies and all kinds of information that we can track and manage. And all of it runs not only on the web, but it also runs on the iPhone. We do have Android under development as well, and that'll be coming a little bit later in 2011. Again, thank you very much for taking the time. We hope you've enjoyed this overview, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.